Do you think the Knicks win in your lifetime? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I'm so saying not. Why would he that happen? Pause. No, no. What? Pause. Even pause. What are you talking about? I mean, that was so fast. <laughs> win what? what? I mean, win. holy. In my family lifetime? feud, he would have beaten anybody. Right? Yeah, I mean, the, the, no. We're the same wow. age. So you have a good 40, 50 years left. So you don't think? Well, let, let's hope the yoga is paying off more than that. We need a little. We got a little more house money. You than want that. triple digits? You no, want to hit? You want to yeah, hit a hundo? No, no. The goal. The goal is to shoot my age. On the golf course, and I'm <laughs> okay. training now to do that. I'm, I'm taking out three wood often instead of driver because I know I'm not going to be able to hit it long when I'm in my 80s. Right. But you said another 40 years. That means I'm out at 79. I'd like to see 80. No, I'm just saying. Like, a snowman I gave in my you, life. I gave you 50. 50. I gave you 50. 50. Oh, okay, 90 so 50 piece. 50 to right. 60. Yeah, you want a 90 to 100 piece. Like, do I get a, a Knicks? Do the Knicks win a title in 40 years? Yeah. Well, they haven't oh. in 40 years. It's been more than 40 years since yeah, they've won insane. one. Uh, I mean, there was 50 <laughs> for the Bucks. So. Uh, do I do I think it'll happen in my lifetime? No, because then I'll expect it. And when when you experience the unexpected, it's right. that much sweeter. Um, and I also don't want to get to a place like my father, who now says things after the Red Sox win their fourth World Series. Oh, we should have swept them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Should have swept them. I remember you passed out in the shower when Bill Buckner. <laughs> <laughs> happened in Disney World. I was six years old. Mom, dad's in the shower asleep. <laughs> She's like, huh? Look, look, ben, so, look. So look, when Robbie. you get 12 parades in 15 years. And in another of, 20 when you have none. That's the type of things that happen. Yeah, you know? unfortunately, your Enjoy football it. parade days are probably past. Yeah. Patriots over. win before the Cowboys, TJ, so just Ooh. relax there, bro. I mean, I take that bet, but, you know. I would take the Patriots in that. I, I don't think the Cowboys will, will win I, anytime soon. Yeah. I think they're on this like complete. You're, you're proving to be a little disaster. bit of a hater too, no, Ben. You know, I, I'm starting. To, I'm putting you that. Gotta I'm, embrace I'm it that because up. you guys see that you haven't learned from diehard Nick fans yet. When you <laughs> well, guys see that from Jerry Jones, you're like, well, this is the. Yeah, there's a difference though. So, James yeah. Dolan comes out and says, uh, "I think we're gonna do some great things." I don't think all of us believe that. Difference, Jerry already has three. So if he doesn't win again, it's still, like I said, the fact yeah, is. you want to win. You do want to you win. He's win. willing but to make a deal with the devil, a lifetime of success, yeah. three Super Bowls, all the money he could ever imagine. And, and he, he's still willing to sell his soul just to get into a Super Bowl. Well, see, what, you don't know, what you don't know is he called in a few months ago and he said he actually made a deal with the big guy upstairs that he goes, if you give me this, I will never ask for anything again. And so I guess he didn't want to go back on his word with the man up above. So then he started looking down below. But Jerry's playing both ends. Like, no, you right. know, if, he he, if he's making a deal with the devil, he's already got God on the hook, pot committed. <laughs> yes, he has. So he's covered. I mean, these guys are they're poised to win the NFC East. Yeah, but that's not the but Super Bowl. That, that doesn't Super mean Bowl. anything. Yeah. I know that. that but they have to get past gets you on the subway in New York. Guy so what are we doing? That's in Tampa Bay that wants to go twofer. I mean, he gets the problem. They're not going to get past Tom. They have to get past Brady. There's that's, that's nobody in the NFC. I don't care yeah, if it's don't Aaron who's, who he goes back to Green Bay or if he you know, stops the closed mouths, don't get fed. I don't care if it's Jerry with Dak healthy. There is nobody in the NFC if I'm Tampa Bay Tom and the Buccaneers that I'm looking at and no. saying, man, we got to make sure we're on it for those guys. It's it's going to be... It's such a weird moment in oh. time in the balance of power. And, the and it makes same. me think that it was all calculated. Yeah. That he was like Nostradamus with cheekbones. That he knew that it was not only about this one year, but he saw the runway yeah. for multiple years. He said, all right, Russ is hitting that wall up in Seattle that I hit in the middle of my career in, in, in New England. I know what that's like, so we'll leave him up in the Northwest. <laughs> Let's look at the division. Sam Darnold's playing quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Breeze is going to be gone in a couple Breeze of years. Is gone. But they don't know what's going, they don't on, know in what's going on in New Orleans. I think the, the scariest thing is Bruce Arians called in last year around week 9 or 10, and he was talking about the team. And Rich asked him, how long is it going to take Tom Brady to really get acclimated to feel comfortable with this system? And Bruce said next season. Dead on. So, so and then they won the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl when he wasn't comfortable. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> everyone's in trouble, Mike. You're right. People, everyone is in, in trouble. trouble. I mean, this is about to be. It's going to be again, barring injuries, which happen. But as we see in the NFL, injuries be, will derail. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be, be a plans. huge part of the season, yeah. and I'll have you know the storylines changing directions and shifting. I mean, the team's and turning. the same. He's but, got. 
As long as this guy's meditating and eating the, the, avocados. the, the, the avocados, he'll be fine. But like we also talked about pre-show, save for about two and a half quarters of bad football, you take you eliminate those. We everyone was so high on the Kansas City Chiefs yeah. for the last three years, and then if all of a sudden about we're not talking about them anymore. For the Kansas City Chiefs going to overtime, like you said, a couple bad quarters here and there, they could right they could be there for three in a row. Are the Chiefs going for four in a row right now? That could be the conversation in an alternate universe. Yeah. But the margin for success and failure is so small. It's right there, and it's razor's edge of success and failure. And Maybe Mahomes doesn't even get back to a Super Bowl. Are you willing to bet Whoa, that? Wow. Maybe he doesn't even get back to a Super Bowl. Who knows? Success and failure. It's right there. It's sliding doors. Wow. I'm not a betting man, but I'd have to bet at some point that man is that he going gets back. To, yeah. Would have said that about Aaron Rodgers in 2011, wouldn't you? You Yeah. Uh, ten gotta years appreciate ago. it. You gotta be in the moment. Yeah. A Greek I philosopher mean, once told me that your past is your ego and your future is your <laughs> man. Pride. The, the great, was it, was it Socrates? Yeah. Was the it great, Socrates? The great Giannis of Edmund. <laughs> a great Greek philosopher from the land Tom of Brady. Milwaukee. I'm kidding. Milwaukee. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, PJ Tucker double fisting on a double decker bus down uh, Main Street in Milwaukee. It looks amazing in Milwaukee yeah, having a blast tonight. Up there. Like, <laughs> big ups to everybody there. That is so awesome. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.